you big style how amazing is that tremendous stuff right welcome 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 to saturday evening it's the internet phone in it's just gone nine o'clock and a very warm welcome to every single one of you and dinky do from me scotty McClure. how amazing is that now you should have had your notifications and you should also have had a little promo on the YouTube channel to tell you that Scotty McLean is going live. What an amazing week it's been this week, and we've uploaded lots of new videos for you, and we'll talk about that as the evening goes on. Dinky do. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, says Ali. Good evening, Ali. Kamrahau Maha. Lovely to have you with us. Well, hello there, says Pottle Pots. Dinky do. Ireland had a great win against England. Yes, they did, Damien. Incredible stuff. Hi, Scotty. How are you, says Susan. Dinky do, Susan. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to everybody. Just amazing. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing, sir? Chewy. Fantastic. Love all your wee bits of chat, by the way. Dinky do, Scotty says Fiona. Fiona. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty Buddy says Martin. Martin and Emma. Hi, Karim. Says Susan, Karim has joined us. The wonderful Gordon Roddick is with us. Good evening, Scotty, and good evening to you, Gordon. Tremendous stuff. Uh, hello, Scotty. Hope everyone's well. Hope you are all well. Thank you, Karim. We hope that you're well and you're going to come on and give us some of your quality chat tonight. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do. Email one says evening hashtag float eye, all uppercase. First Lord of the Internet. Right, let's open the lines. Uh, lots of things for discussing tonight. We don't discuss the pandemic. We can touch on uh, the Ukraine and Russia, but let's not take the whole program up with it, of course, because there's lots of new TikToks existing and new YouTube videos for you on that. Hope you keep it well, Captain. Indeed, George. Dinky-doo and fantastic. Can you sing? Oh, I can sing like a linty can. I worked with an opera company for four years. Now, there we have it. Right. Let's see if we can get the uh, phones working and we can hear from you. That's what it's all about. Okay. So that should be the phones up now. So see if you can give us a call. Fantastic. Hello, you're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. Martin, you? Oh, hang on, we've got two of you. Um, Martin, could you hang up and we'll come back to you? There we are. I think that's Martin. Are you there, Kareem? I am. Hi, Scotty. How are we doing? <laughs> Fantastic. We must have got two at the one time. Incredible. Right. Just one click technology is amazing. Yes. One click and we ended up with the two. <laughs> How are we, Scotty? You have a good week? There's Kendall. Go on, sing us a bit of Michael Jackson. Kendall, you know we can't sing on here for copyright reasons. There we are. We've had a great <laughs> week, Kareem. Fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. Um, oh, Scotty, what I wanted to do was to speak very briefly. Um, it was during the week. There was a post came up about the... Um, it was a leader of the SNP down at Westminster. Yes. Um, and he came out and said that in an independent Scotland, the monarchy will be going nowhere. Excellent. And that's from the that's from the horse's mouth. That yes. there's no question that the monarchy will be going anywhere. It's staying. And because if the monarchy the was going anywhere, then independence would be going nowhere. Well, I, I put comments because a lot of people were against it. And I said that, well, you're going to lose 50% of the vote. Yes. I said that within Scotland, the, the houses of residence that are up here, it contributes to the local economy. It's going to boost tourism. Uh, there's so much that more potential for when we're in an independent country. But then a lot of people that came on, Messaging back to that, where the ones are, the money grabbers, the this, the that. I, no, I, you see, this I, is I, the ignorance, Kareem. You're up against yeah. massive, massive ignorance. Uh, you know? Uh, Chris well, Grant just sent me 40 TikToks. Is that not beautiful? Fantastic. Yes, Scotty. I attached your video explaining about the importance of the monarchy and people still just shrug that off. And I just think, well, I'm not going to... I've explained it and yeah. I just, it's just very clear. 
Yeah, if you want independence, you leave the monarchy alone. Yeah. If you're happy being part of Westminster rule, Tory policies and austerity, then by all means, keep banging on about getting rid of the monarchy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're quite right. I mean, Her Majesty the Queen is head of state. It was all decided when Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. And uh, totally unconnected. The only thing that might be swaying them was uh, one of the kings then at the Union decided to say that he was king of Britain. Uh, but you see, right, there's no okay. such country as Britain. Yes. You know, yes. Britain is just a big landmass. It's the big bit. It's called Great Britain because it's the big bit of the landmass. Right. You know? I had... Someone made a comment about uh, the Queen that when she passes on, now I didn't, I, I forgot to Google this, but they said that once the Queen passes on, Charles uh, will have nothing really to do with Australia. I wasn't too sure on that at all. Yes, that's a bit strange. Australia's been behaving very weirdly for a, a country of freedom, uh, uh -huh. apparently, uh, you know, bringing in concentration camps and things like that, you know, very, very strange for Australia. I don't quite know what's going on there, but, uh, yeah. but we'll, we'll see what happens. There's no doubt. You see, when I was in school, Kareem, uh, uh -huh. we had old maps in geography because they were perfectly serviceable, uh, you uh -huh. know, and this would be the early 60s, and the maps were still covered in red. Because they used to right. say the sun never set on the British Empire. So somewhat yeah. in the world was sunrise. Right. The sun was right. shining. And the map was covered in red. So you had Canada. You had, um, you would have had America until 1776. You had mm -hmm. Ireland. You had uh, Australia. You had New Zealand. You had a good whack of Africa. You had India, all of India, were all marked in red. Uh, China, Hong Kong, yeah? Uh, uh -huh. So they were all marked in red because they were part of the British Empire. Malaya, Burma, etc., etc. Most of the Middle East, you see, because uh, the British had, um, had occupied Egypt and all that sort of stuff. There's talk I was reading about that this is in the plans and it's in the pipeline that with Australia, New Zealand and Canada and the UK is going to join as one special type of union. Uh, I've forgotten the actual name but it is in the pipelines where uh -huh. it's, it's basically like a, min, a mini EU, let's just say that, um, and where they'll have to be sharing a lot more information, armies, uh, intelligence, etc. Um, and I think that, um, that it was quite interesting to read into. I don't know too much about it, but if, if you get a chance to read about it, Scotty, and any of the listeners, the callers... I will, uh, because quite... what they're wanting to do at the moment is redesign the world. I mean, coming out of Europe was a massive mistake for the UK. So the UK yes. is now searching about for pals and for trade deals and things like that. So it needs to be part of another group. You see, Churchill, what people didn't realize, Churchill, which most of your right-wingers absolutely worshipped, and Churchill wanted a united Europe with the UK at its heart and a single UK, a single EU army. Yes, it wouldn't be the EU then, a European army with a single commander. I think he was thinking about himself at the time. Yeah, so so because he was always thinking of himself, old Winnie. So um, yeah. you've got that there. Now um, he also, and they wouldn't back him, wanted to press on and take Russia because he wanted to get rid of uh, the Bolsheviks, and that would have been quite a thing. And he probably could have managed it with the right backing with America at the time. So American Europe. So Europe would have extended right into Russia and you wouldn't have had yeah. the problem we've got today. Correct, yes. You know, yeah. because because Russia would have been part of NATO, really. Yes. Uh, yes, because the North Atlantic be, Treaty Organization was set up in 1948 types. following the Second sure. World War. Yeah, yeah. Well, Scotty, I just wanted to put that on earlier on about the, the 